you know, actually I said I gotta go, but you know, before I do, I, well, I don't know when you're watching these videos, but a moment ago, I was over at Lincoln talking about Roman temples. <laughs> Honestly, I missed a grand opportunity because it actually says inside in this temple. Should have done the shot inside. Anyway, um, but while I'm here, you know, I'm walking past gobs and gobs of monuments. They're just, uh, DC is lousy with them, right? They're everywhere. And, uh, you know, monument is, in fact, a Latin word. Uh, it comes from the verb moneo monere. But when I say it's a Latin word, I don't mean we've derived it from Latin. I mean, it, it is the word monumentum. We just cut the ending off. It essentially, it means a reminder. The verb means to warn or remind. So a monumentum is a reminder or a warning. And we have them for all sorts of things. And, you know, as I mentioned in the last video, it is, in fact, today MLK Day. And there is an MLK monument here as well. And the reason why I wanted to stop here, the reason why I think this is, you know, like, Roman relevant, obviously why I'm posting this video, is because... Uh, I feel like one of the misnomers or, you know, one of the misunderstandings that I often end up kind of having to, like, you know, bat down a little bit is this idea that somehow Rome was not a diverse place. Uh, I think that people somehow kind of foolishly assume that if you were in Rome in ancient times and you were walking around, you would just see a bunch of, like, Italians. Um, and certainly if you go far enough back, that is sort of what you would see in Rome. But, you know, the Rome that we popularly imagine, the Rome that was this massive empire, uh, was a world city. It was a huge city with lots of people in it, and lots of people means lots of diversity, right? It was a, a metropolitan center that drew people not just from all over Italy, but in fact from everywhere that Rome touched. And eventually Rome touched so much. It kind of touched like uh, everything, right? I mean, not literally everything, but there was a huge swath of the world that the Romans were either heavily invested in or at least knew about or had been to. So there were all kinds of different people in Rome, and that is something that America has very much in common with Rome. Walking around a place like Washington, D.C., you get constant reminders of that. I mean, if you just look around at the people you see, it really is like everybody's here. Um, and... The, the thing about that is, I, I feel like in some ways, the Romans uh, were better than us about embracing that diversity, in the sense that the Romans just kind of love to take good ideas uh, that they see other people doing and just immediately absorb it into their own. That said, uh, the Romans also very much had this like sense of that, you know, we are the Romans, we are the best, and didn't really tolerate any other thing. Whereas in America, I feel like we have, you know, greater opportunities to be like critical and to learn uh, you know, from, you know, the things we do right, but also the things we do wrong. And when we're at our best, I think that's exactly what we do. So, in honor of MLK Day, here's to, uh, you know, imp let me see if I can get a better shot of the, the man himself. I'll just have to guess because the sun's in my eyes, but there we go. In honor of MLK Day, here's to, uh, you know, embracing other people and other ideas and learning from our mistakes.